Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today the video will be from the comfort of my room and I hope you're okay with this because I wanted to focus on mainly this article that I will start this video with that uh, I have received yesterday via email from Russell Bentley who used to be a guest on my channel. I want to start with um, a statement that I I cannot say that this is legit information. I cannot say that this is for sure. And I don't want to make any accusations here. However, I decided to read this to you because maybe some of you already heard of it. Maybe you have more information and maybe we can um, share this in the comment section on my platform as well. Since, as you know, the child trafficking is the most profitable business in the world. And we have to uh, talk about things like this because it's not comfortable, it can be dangerous, but it's very important. And so I will read to you the big part of this article, give you an idea what is this about. But before I do this, I just want to say this is again something that... few things. The pictures speak louder than words. And second thing, you become who you surround yourself with. So on my locals, you will see the images that are posted in this article once this video is out and you will have the link as well. Um, the link to this article also will be down below this video. Nevertheless, let me get to the point. What is this about? Orlena Zelinska's organization accused of child trafficking scandal insider confesses under the cloak of eight disturbing allegations of child trafficking linked to the First Lady uh, of Ukraine's charity. In series of harrowing allegations that could send shock, shockwaves through international diplomatic and charitable uh, circles, the foundation led by Olena Zelenska, the First Lady of Ukraine, is now facing severe scrutiny. Accusations have emerged that the organization under the guise of rescuing war-impacted children has been covertly involved in child trafficking with some victims ending up in the hands of pedophiles across Europe. And here this article goes through some details from the meeting that took place in New York City in Metropolitan Opera. During this meeting, um, Zelenska was joined by who else, if not the Hillary Clinton. Yes, that's how I call her. UK Foreign Secretary James Cleverly and Hollywood's own Matt Damon. And this was about her foundation, her charity foundation. Uh, aimed at rehabilitating Ukraine's human capital, the foundation's stated goals included rebuilding the nation's healthcare and education sectors with a particular focus on aiding orphan children. Let me scroll down. The foundation's website portrays a beacon of hope support for the displaced children of Ukraine's conflict zones being a cornerstone. Mrs. Zelenska herself has frequently spoken of her heartfelt commitment to safeguarding the nation's youth, even asserting in an interview with Australian Financial Review that part of the foundation's remit involved transferring children to safe locations abroad. However, a video confession published on YouTube by a man claiming to be a former employee of the foundation has cast a long unsettling shadow over the altruistic efforts. The individual in question, speaking in French, identified himself as a driver for the Zelenska, Zelenska Foundation, showing what appeared to be an employee ID card. His testimony alleged, alleges that he transported groups of children from Ukraine to safe orphanages and 
affluent host families in France, Germany, and UK. Guys, I'm telling you. I haven't read this before, but um, here is a quote from this person, from this um, man who was apparently a driver, and he said, on one occasion, I accompanied a child named Dmitro to a foster home situated on Avenue Fogg. The driver for the Zelenska Foundation described providing a photograph of the boy for context. The man who greeted us was notably older and inappropriately underdressed, which was alarming. His actions towards, towards Dmitro, winking and taking him by the hand, raised immediate red flags for me. After signing the necessary documents, he ushered the child inside and closed the door. It was a moment that clearly called for concern, making a situation that seemed very wrong. Despite my unease, I hesitated, thinking it wasn't my place to intervene. All right, um, I think I'm not gonna read you more of this. There is more, actually, yeah, let me read you a little bit more here and then you can just click on the link down below this video and read it yourself. A few days later, I faced another incident, the employee recounted. I had to move another child from the orphanage to a foster home. It was bewildering because I had taken the same child to a different home just weeks earlier. I asked him what was happening. When he began to cry, I realized the gravity of the situation. Through the child's gestures, it became painfully clear to me he was signaling that he had been touched inappropriately. That's when it all came together. The full scope of the tragedy these children were facing. Guys, um, I honestly, I don't know, I don't want to say this is for sure, but how to put it? When you see who is around in the circle, when you know things, Many people know what's going on. Many people know what was taking place in Haiti. And many actors from Hollywood that are involved. And I don't care how great acting is of Sean Penn. I will just say this way. I really don't. I could care less at this point. Or George Clooney. All of this is, to me, it's... I, I, have, I cannot find words, to be honest. When you read things like this and how many people in the world who were trying their best to help those children are unaware what's really going on besides behind the scenes. They have no clue. I don't want to say this is for sure legit. However, I lean to believe that this is what's going on. And I would like to leave your comments. I would like to hear your comments. I would like you to leave your comments down below under this video. I wanted to bring you more news today that I have ready, but I will probably do it tomorrow because this topic alone, I think is the most important topic in this regard here. And another aspect of this conflict in uh, Palestine it's another layer to it. They are not just the victims as far as children who has died, who has been sacrificed, but there has also been children who are kidnapped in this chaos and this disorder that's going on there and this mess and this level of destruction that cannot be found. find. You cannot find them. And that's the reason, you know, it's all for the most profitable business in the world. And I just want to leave you with this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you think this is important content, please share the video, hit that like, leave the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you do. 
every other link to find me you also have down below in the description box and i say it again as i always do and i will keep on saying it lots of love and remember we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity bye everyone